appear to be the same distance behind the mirror. Also, the nature of the image. So what is the nature of the image? Or before I start the nature of the image, you must know what is a mirror. A mirror is a lens with a silver paper, as simple as that. A mirror is a lens covered by the silver paper. Now, you all guys know that object reflect light from the previous lessons. You know that an object reflect light. How, this is how we see objects. So, the source of light, example, sun, emits a light. This light hits the objects and bounces off towards our eyes. This is how we see light. Now, concentrate. Also, a part of this reflection will hit the mirror and come back to our eyes. This is how mirror reflect light. This is how reflection of light in the mirror. How, this is how image form. That a part of this reflection will hit the mirror and come back to our eyes. So, let's uh, watch a video uh, explaining how. Nothing surprising there. Why are we able to see our image? Yes, it's due to the reflection of light. In fact, it's due to multiple reflections of light rays. How? The light rays from the source are first incident on our body. They bounce off from our body and fall on the surface of the mirror and again gets reflected from there. This reflected light then reaches our eyes and we see our image. So what does this tell us? You see, so the source of light, for example, the sun will hit the uh, object and this object will reflect light. This reflected light will hit the mirror and come back to our eyes. It's a multiple reflection, okay? So, also, uh, what is the nature of this image? Let's come back and uh, talk about the nature of the image. So what is the uh, uh, nature of the image? The image formed by a mirror is called virtual image. So what is a virtual image? The virtual image, since no light can get through the mirror, also the image of the candle does not exist behind the mirror, so we called it virtual image. So the, we have two types of uh, images, virtual image and real image. The virtual image formed when no light can pass through the lens, like the mirror. There is a, no light can pass through the mirror, so the image is called virtual image. And also, one, one another condition that the image is formed, uh, it cannot be formed behind the mirror. So it can't be formed behind the mirror, because of that it's virtual, it's not real. Okay, let's watch uh, another video explaining this phenomenon. ...that you see here, is it a real image or a virtual one? This image is a virtual image. In order to explain what a virtual image is, let's first simplify this image. Let's represent this boy with an arrow pointing up. And here is our plain mirror. You can assume the top of the arrow to be the top of the head of a boy. Now where is the image of the boy formed? When we see the image in the mirror, it seems to us that the image is formed somewhere behind the mirror. But there is nothing behind the mirror, right? For us, the light rays seem to come from the location present behind the mirror. For instance, consider a few light rays emerging from top. So it appears that the image is formed behind the mirror, but there is no image behind the mirror. Because of that, it's virtual image. So you have two conditions to know if it's virtual or it's real. If the light can get through the mirror, it's real. But since no light can get through the mirror, it's not real. Uh, also, the image of the candle does not exist behind the mirror, so we called it virtual. If the image exists behind the mirror, it's real. But it's impossible, okay, because of that. Now, uh, another type uh, of, uh, another nature of uh, image called real image, okay? We can see this uh, real image in the projector, you know? The projector in your classes, okay? So how? 
First of all, the light will pass through the lens of the projector. This is the lens of the projector. The light will pass through the lens, okay? And the image is formed behind the lens. You all know that the image uh, uh, formed at the screen, right? So it's behind the lens. When the image formed behind the lens, this is the image called real image. When the light can pass through the lens. You know, let's compare it. In a mirror, the light can't pass through the lens. But in a lens, on a projection lens, the light can pass through it, right? So uh, this image formed by the projection lens is a real image. So let's read it. The projector project the image after the lens. So we call it uh, behind the lens, not after the lens. So we call it a real image, since the image formed after the lens and the light can pass through it. So the light can pass through the image of the project projector. Is it clear? This is the first part of the video. Maybe I will cut it into two equal parts just because of the size of the video. Okay, I will uh, record another video as a part two or part three. I will uh, send it as soon as possible.